Hi guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make chicken nuggets. So this is grain free, dairy free and gluten free chicken nuggets. So here what we need and I'm gonna use uh, chickpea flour. So here is, uh, I'm using this uh, one cup of chickpea flour and I'm gonna add some spices. So I'm gonna add some chili powder. So I'm ch like one fourth teaspoon of chili powder and if you need more you can add more also and you can add less also you know uh, you can uh, check the when you mix this all and the salt i'm using a one teaspoon of salt and i'm just gonna use a... okay so i'm gonna mix this all well Okay, so and I'm gonna use uh, one teaspoon of onion powder. So this is onion powder here. So what happened? I don't have onion powder, so I have a, like minced onion. See this minced onion I have. So I just did. I use uh, this roller to just make powder. So one teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some uh, onion powder here, which I made. I was showing you, and some uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder too. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this well, and, and I'm gonna so here and so now I'm gonna mix this with the water, like just to make some better. And I'm starting with a half cup water first. Okay, so I use like total like a little bit more than half half cup of water so make a better you know you just need to make like a how you make for your pancake so it's just like a pancake better and so i'm gonna just keep this aside for a little bit and while i'm uh, gonna marinate this chicken so i'm gonna add some half teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of chili powder Okay, I'm, and I'm gonna mix this. I'm just gonna mix this here and I'm gonna uh, fry this chicken a little bit, just maybe like three, four minutes because, you know, then I'm gonna add the chicken to this uh, batter, you know. So, because chicken needs to cook because you don't wanna eat raw chicken, you know. And so I'm just gonna fry a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Okay, I'm just like kind of like marinating just a little bit salt and chili powder and then I'm gonna fry this. Okay, here is uh, I'm gonna I just heat this oil in my favorite pan as you guys know and just I use a uh, three tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm gonna fry this chicken for like a little bit. So I heat this all in a medium heat. So, so here is chicken. I was uh, frying it almost five minutes, and they're pretty good. And we don't have to like deep fry or something. We don't just like little bit, just slightly. And I just take it aside in the same part where we marinate our chicken. I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, so the same pan I'm gonna use the same pan I'm gonna add more oil so like three tablespoon olive oil the, to fry the chicken nuggets and, and so I'm gonna so this is our batter it's a chickpea flour so I'm gonna add this into this chicken Here is, uh, I mix this here, I'm gonna fry, I'm gonna put this in the oil, and like this. This is uh, actually a pretty big spoon I'm using, but you can use a small one. Yeah, so here is, uh, I, after like around 4 to 5 minutes, I flip this over and I'm cooking this in the medium heat 
and so let's uh, cook for another four to five minutes okay so after four or five minutes i just uh, mix all this together and now uh, i'm taking this off so they already they're done and so i'm gonna start next batch i have like another batch here to finish and so i use actually just uh two chicken breasts like around one pound and a little bit like extra more than a little bit like pound so you can say like around one pound or two. Uh, chicken I use for all this and okay one thing I want to tell you and uh, because the I didn't fry, I didn't do like deep fry so that's why I fried the chicken first so then you know the chicken won't stay raw you know so they're gonna be like cook so this chicken I already tasted actually it's good it's already cooked so since you can use egg also if you want if you can eat egg so you can use egg also in this you can mix egg also so you don't have to have uh, uh, so much chickpea flour you can do like half cup of chickpea flour you know so uh, next time we can try with egg also and i will see if i can make one more video with eggs and coconut flour you can use